Welcome to the Dr. Yu Yu T channel. This video is available in Urdu and this one is in English. The topic is enzyme inducers, enzyme inhibitors. So what is the difference? In this video, we'll uh, clear the enzyme inducers. First, let us know about the term inducer. Inducer is suppose, inducer mean that uh, induces an effect in something. And what is induction? To awaken or to increase when we talk about the drugs when we give the drugs to the patient what will those drugs do those drugs will increase the synthesis of enzymes which enzymes cytochrome p450 cyp isozymes the family when the drugs are given and those drugs if increase the enzymes concentration the synthesis in the body then what will, what is that called that is called enzyme inducer. The drug is given the name enzyme inducer drug because this enzyme increases the synthesis of enzymes cytochrome P450. The drug you gave that increased the enzymes. That's why this is given the name is enzyme inducer drug. Very simple. Now what will happen if the amount or the concentration of the enzymes increase? You know we have pharmacokinetic steps, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. If the concentration or the synthesis of enzymes is increased by means of an enzyme-inducer drug, then these enzymes are responsible to do the metabolism of all the drugs. When the metabolism is done, the next step of the metabolism is elimination. The elimination of the drug from the body. And if the drug is eliminated, then what about the pharmacological effect? How will it affect the pharmacology? <clears throat> Very simple. Enzymes inducers have got two functions. They may increase and may decrease the pharmacological effect of the drug. Here, may increase or may decrease. How, if it is going to metabolize the, 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 do the metabolism of the drug, how will it then increase or decrease the pharmacological effect of the drugs so enzyme induces drugs if you give these drugs will increase the metabolism of the drugs after metabolism what will happen you know the metabolism or is if done of something uh, suppose of a drug then metabolites are formed so the metabolites formed are of two types one is active one is inactive sometimes sometimes this case is for specific drugs a drug is active before the metabolism and sometimes the drug is active after the metabolism. First, if a drug is active after the metabolism, how and what will be the effect by the drug inducers? Drugs, drug inducers means those enzyme inducer drugs. Those drugs that will cause the enzyme induction or the enzyme inducers, they will increase the metabolism of the drug and that drug's metabolites formed are active then that will increase the pharmacological effect. <clears throat> Sorry, The same is the case with those drugs which uh, are active before the metabolism. Then how will, uh, what will be the effect on the pharmacological effect of those drugs? So drug inducer, drug that was causing, that were causing the enzyme induction, they will increase the metabolism. You know that before it was active, when it undergoes the process of metabolism the metabolites which will be formed they will be inactive so if a drug undergoes the metabolism and the metabolites are inactive now what will happen there will be a decrease in the pharmacological effect of that drug in short metabolism after the metabolism active and inactive constraints are formed because of that the pharmacological effect is increased or decreased if you give the enzyme inducer drug, the enzyme inducer drug will take, will induce the enzymes. Those enzymes will increase the metabolism and the increase in metabolism will uh, turn to metabolites of a drug. If the metabolites are active, they will increase the effect. If metabolites are inactive, they will decrease the pharmacological effect. And uh, what will happen to the inactive metabolites or active metabolites after the metabolism? The step is elimination, absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination.
then what will happen? The drug will get eliminated. So let me give you an example to clear it further what enzyme induces drugs are. <clears throat> Rifampin, the very potent drug, and it is now is uh, mother of all enzyme inducers because it increases, it induces the cytochrome P450 enzymes. So now according to the definition, Rifampin is responsible to induce cytochrome P450 means their synthesis is increased by means of rifampin. If rifampin increases cytochrome P450 enzymes, then these enzymes are responsible. This is a case, okay, in which a patient is there of HIV. Now, if you give that HIV patient this rifampin, this will increase the S cytochrome P450 enzymes. Now, these enzymes are again responsible to do the metabolism of certain drugs. Now, here is the case of HIV proteases inhibitors. Now, this will come and will cause the metabolism of this, you know, when there is metabolism done of HIV proteases inhibitors, then these HIV drugs are eliminated from the body. After metabolism, there is elimination, they are eliminated. So what is the function of these HIV proteases inhibitors? Their function was to inhibit the virus replication that was present in the body. Because of rifampin, which produced cytochrome P450 enzymes, which induced, this is enzyme-inducer drug, okay? Enzyme-inducer drug. This induced the cytochrome P450. Now, these cytochrome P450 will cause the metabolism of uh, HIV proteases inhibitors. Now, because of this, the metabolism is increased and their elimination is increased. So, their action is now decreased to suppress the replication of virus. The virus will grow then again. So, this is somehow a drug-drug interaction also and an example of enzyme-inducer drug. Hope so, you got. Thank you.